How to guys? It's uh, well, shall we say the um, beginning of the end of the lockdown for 2021. Um, it's Friday. Uh, rule of six kicks in on Monday, I think, for outside use. So uh, I thought I'd do a quick rundown of what I've been doing in the shed um, over the last year, shall we say. Um, yeah, enthusiasm has been a little bit down, as the fact you can't really get out and do anything um, until this point. So Funny Farm is booked for just over a week now. So obviously most of these planes I'm building now will be uh, made into there and possibly destroyed, as they say. But <coughs> if they come back, we'll be out again Monday. So it's going to be a, a couple of days at the Funny Farm. And I thought I'd just do a quick rundown of the um, projects. There's one of them on the bench. And yeah, just tell you guys what's happening. So welcome to the shed. Uh, I'm Andrew Bolton. And yeah, the funny farm master. <laughs> anyway, this is what's going on in the shed. So uh, hope you enjoy. And I'm yeah, just going to do a quick rundown. Very basic. Um, give me a quick five minute video which is probably going to drag on a bit but let's go down and uh, see what's happening oh, so there you go, this is a, a Cub 1200 wingspan I believe, maybe 1400 it's the wings it says there that 95% almost ready to fly well that was a load of tosh <laughs> um, yeah so I picked this up, this is second hand um, unopened well, they said it was an opened, but I am missing a load of um, horns, the servos and wing connectors, the supports that are under here. I've had to make my own up. Is that going to focus in there? Yeah, I'd make my own up under there. Um, the wheels are rubbish, so I've chucked those. Um, yeah, so I'm building up as a cub. See, I must admit, say it was, it was. They said it was unopened, but. There's definitely a bag of bits missing. Like I say, the servo horns, um, which I'm waiting to be delivered, uh, obviously for the back of the there. But yeah, it's definitely unbuilt, that's for sure. But unopened was a bit of a stretch. So I've got two standard servos, um, kind of a bit FPV gear in this one. You can have some of these like a little head so you can swivel it around, pan and tilt, um, to get the full kind of scale flying experience shall we say possibly might even do something with the dash a couple of lights or sunk yeah so to see what i can get older for that for the next week um but yeah while i'm running in here yet to be tested this is a 426006 should should have a bit of a bit of grunt and possibly going to do a 12 inch prop or slightly larger depending on ground clearance and stuff ESC wise, uh, 70 amp. Again, this is probably one of my. This, is, this has got to be at least 10 years old. So, um, say 10 years. Yeah, eight. Say eight years old. I'm um, still going strong. But yeah, that's the main ESC. We've got obviously the stays, stickers, some parts that I'm never going to use. Obviously, OS engine mount. Never going to use, but. Going to try and make it look a bit scale. So that's on the table. Um, we've got full size Sky Hunter. Again, just build, rebuilding this one. This is a, a donation um, from a good friend of mine. We are going to say I've got lights in the wings for night flying and for landing. Um, Dragon Link one side, video signal the other side. Bet yeah, bet yeah. I see. I run most of my stuff on Dragon Link, even if it's an uh, uh, LOS model. So, what I'm going to do in this one, possibly going to stick a vector in it. Um, again, possible. Got to try and figure out how to work it, get it in there, because I say vectors you can't swap around. But I'd like these sort of style wings. I like actually fixing the um, uh, flight controller up on the wing here. So if it does come attached, basically all the fuselages is just a glorified battery bay. 
Um, and the ESC for this one, 85. Again, Hobby King, that's slightly newer. Um, but again, cheap and cheerful, just the top. Um, obviously the patented uh, rubbish Lincoln painted uh, folding boom. See that one, they're on Thingiverse if you need to want to print those off. And that's about it really, yeah, just basically building that one back up again. And I've got a 3548, is that an 05? Yeah, 05 on there. Yeah, flown that one a couple of times last year, well, was it last year, the year before that. Um, flew okay, bit of a bus, but just nice for cruising around and catching a few thermals. So trying to build it reasonably light. Um, so I say it's got a big battery bay, and you can pretty much fit my whole hand in there with that. So it can hold about 20,000 in the 4S. But yeah, I like running them light, so again, you get the floatiness of it. I um, don't know if you've seen, like I said, I've got a car I've built up, FPV. It's the old Yeti, this is the third reincarnation of this. Um, again, probably see a few bit more video footage of that lately, so again, it's got iNav in it on Dragon Link. Um, yeah, basically for a bit of cruising around. And the probably some boys might have seen this online so far, but this is a mini. The middle size Sky Hunter, um, twin motor conversion, pan and tilt, a little kind of uh, aerial man mount for where the old motor used to fit. Again, running Dragon Link. And yeah, that's, I flew this, done the, oh, sorry, I've flown this already, um, just to make sure it did fly. As you can see, it's got a bit muddy in the bottom, but yeah, it hasn't been, hasn't been uh, abused yet, shall we say, but again, um, basically did one flight with this the other day and flew well, balance drawer out, it's nice to go and if I got a spec wing there again had to repair that one this year because I pretty much planted it straight into a tree and split it in half that one's ready to go and uh, obviously you've got the winch to try out which again I built that two years ago um, still sat here waiting to be used uh, yeah, thanks for COVID. So uh, let's turn you around again. So that's what's uh, on the table. Obviously we've got the usual things up on the wall. DLG, well Spitfire, that should be coming out this year. Um, 2.6 meter Spitfire, 50cc petrol. I've got iNav in that one. <laughs> you never know, you never know when you need it. So um got iNav it, I've got FPV gear in it. Um, still need to finish that one off. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's been a possibility. Obviously, you've got the usual uh, Nano and the little um, Profile 3D plane, well known on the channel. So hopefully, this uh, coming well, this coming bank holiday, um, the Funny Farm guys can meet up and we can have a bit of a fun, bit of a blast. And uh, gonna sort the pitch out this week, roll it and um, give it a first mow. I say the sheep have been on it for now for over a, well, yeah, over a year now. So it's not it's not going to look too special, but as long as I can roll it, um, we should be able to be in business for do some uh, good landings and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'll keep you posted as we, as we go, and hopefully the the videos will continue and we can get on and do some funny farming. So uh, bye for now. See you soon.